Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And this news dropped yesterday after I was already done recording for the night, but I still had to talk about it here. Uh, there has been a, a, a major, major development that has happened in regards to streaming and just content creation overall uh, for Hollywood. And that is uh, D.B. Weiss and David Benioff signed a massive $200 million deal with Netflix. Now, this was something that's already been reported a couple weeks ago. They were already circling around Netflix. They were already getting ready to basically talk with them. And we kind of knew this was going to be the case. We kind of knew this was going to happen. But now it's confirmed 100% that they've left HBO. They are now going to set up shop over at Netflix. And they're still going to do Star Wars, which makes me really question, can they pull this off? Or is this ultimately going to be one of those situations where... Um, things just fail to materialize in a way that's going to be beneficial for everyone involved. Now it says here that Emmy award winning game of Thrones creators, David Benioff and DB Weiss have found their new home, their, their new home nearly three months after deadline report uh, revealed that they were being courted by six studios for an overall global deal to write, produce and direct new series and films. We can reveal that they have signed an exclusive deal with Netflix. Uh, nobody was confirming numbers, but sources tell deadline that the deal is in the nine figure range like some of the other mega deals signed by show creators like Shonda Rhimes and Ryan Murphy, each of whom have also moved to Netflix. The deal for Benioff and Weiss, which we hear is for five years and is worth as much as $300 million. So that's way more than the $200 million that uh, originally heard. Uh, when Deadline revealed that Benioff and Weiss were meeting on the overall deal at a time when Game of Thrones is wrapping its final season of the drama, the duo had met with Netflix as well as HBO, Warner Media, Disney, Comcast, Amazon, and Apple. By late last month, the field narrowed to Netflix, Amazon, and Disney FX. Benioff and Weiss spent the last decade at HBO, fully focused on the groundbreaking series based on George R. R. Martin's novels. And Netflix is apparently the one who got the deal. Ted Sarandos here says, Sarandos says, We are thrilled to welcome master storytellers David Benioff and DB, Dan Weiss to Netflix. They are a creative force and they have delighted audiences worldwide with their epic storytelling. We can't wait to see what their imaginations will bring to our members. And Dave, uh, Benioff and Weiss here say this, we've had a beautiful run with HBO for more than a decade and we're grateful to everyone there for always making us feel at home. Over the past few months, we've spent many hours talking to Cindy Holland and Peter Friedlander, as well as Ted Sarandos and Scott Stuber. We remember the same shots from the same 80s movies. We love the same books. We're excited about the same storytelling possibilities. Netflix has built something astounding and unprecedented and we're honored that they invite us to join them. Um, so this is where it's going to get interesting because um, Netflix is, is forking out a lot of money, banking on them, bringing people to the table. Now, I would argue that it's money well spent. You guys might disagree with me on that one, but it is going to be money well spent when the time finally comes for their first property. Uh, they are writing the uh, the trilogy of Star Wars films. That's still happening. They're working on um, a couple other uh, uh, films. One of them is a biopic about Kurt Cobain, and the other one is a uh, they're going to adapt Dirty White Boys for Fox and Disney. Although I would assume that Dirty White Boys is probably not going to happen, and the Universal Kurt Cobain project they've already written so i expect that to happen but they probably won't be directing it um and and a lot of people out there are going to be like but why would game of thrones season eight was terrible game of thrones season eight had its problems but it you can't deny the overall popularity the overall love and adoration the show has the fact is it was the most popular show on the planet it is a very well beloved show that people still like maybe even up to season 8 they may not enjoy how it ended but they love how it began and that still has a cemented piece of nostalgia in their heart and that goes a long way especially when it comes to giving creatives second third or fourth chances that becomes a big angle uh, going over to Netflix Netflix is going to give them perhaps more freedom to adapt something else. It's not like HBO didn't give them the freedom to do what they wanted with Game of Thrones. What they were ultimately marred by, blocked by, disabled by, and I think it's I think that's a fair word to use, is George R. R. Martin himself. The fact that the last two books didn't come out, that he had all those years to get those to get those books done. And he still hasn't finished them yet. He still doesn't have a release date for Winds of Winter. There's still nothing about those books and when they're coming. And yet all of the other stuff gets thrown on to Dan and Dave as if it's entirely their fault. And it's not. They worked with what they had. 
And the ending that we got in the show was the ending that George R. R. Martin told them. So now we're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen with their work coming out of this. Are they going to write something wholly original? Remember, they had pitched that show Confederate to HBO that was talking about an alternative history where the South won the Civil War. They had their segregated states now living in a modern age, and it takes place in a demilitarized zone dealing with a lot of nefarious characters. It caught a lot of pushback, a lot of flack, and HBO at this point probably has just kind of soft killed it. Uh, Casey Bloys has not brought it up in the longest time. And even he says that in a number of years, uh, Dan and Dave are going to make their way back to HBO. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have their hands in a lot of the trilogy. Uh, a lot of the other shows that are going to be coming out from Game of Thrones in the process. So when I look at everything like this, when I look at the story, I think this is a solid deal for them. They had worked themselves up to getting this, having finished Game of Thrones, having it finish on the high viewing marks that it got maybe not necessarily the ratings but or the reviews but the ratings were really high um it got them it got them in the door to a lot of different places and netflix wanted to court them because they need to they they are going to need to get something in there that they can possibly recreate to take on what amazon's doing with lord of the rings and what disney's doing with marvel uh they they wanted to make sure that they had that talent there to, to really create something new and to maybe adapt something new. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I don't necessarily think that uh, that Dan and Dave are going to be able to create something um, from whole cloth. I really think they're going to end up having to do something that's an adaptation and hopefully one that's already completed so they don't have to wait on the author to not give them the final two books to adapt and then order to kind of make the whole thing go, well, a little bit south towards the end there. Um, but that's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for them. I think they've worked their ass off. This is a hell of a deal. And uh, who knows what's going to come out of it. I mean, Netflix is poised to really do a lot in the next couple of years. And I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, you guys might differ from me, and that's entirely cool. But but let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you're for this or against this, because this whole place is nothing more than a conversation. So if you made it this far in the video, toss me a like. Yeah, let's try to get the 200. I think that's a good number. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, we get a lot of new subs. We just crossed 31,000. Thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day, and peace out.